Questions and comments. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Government House Leader. Yes, thank you, Madam Speaker. A few days ago, this wasn't even an issue for the Leader of the Conservative Party. But less than an hour ago, uh, Madam Speaker, what we witnessed was the Conservative Party of Canada vote against being, uh, speaking as one voice in favour of the Canada-Ukraine trade agreement. Madam Speaker, I believe that the Conservative Party has done a great disservice uh, to Ukraine and the whole idea of Ukraine solidarity that's taken form around the world. I would like to understand, I and so many other Canadians would like to understand the real reason why it is that the Conservative leader of, uh, uh, today voted against the Canada-Ukraine uh, trade agreement. How does he justify his actions today? I, uh, I have to remind the Honourable Member of the relevance in terms of the speech that the Honourable Leader of the Opposition, opposition made. Um, yeah. well, I'll let the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. He knows it's not relevant and he doesn't care because he doesn't care about Ukraine. He cares about using Ukrainians to distract from the car theft crisis that his boss, the Prime Minister, has caused. That's right. The Prime Minister could not care less about Ukraine or any of the other distractions he brings up. He does it because he knows he can't run on his miserable track record yep. of doubling the cost of housing, sending two million, a record smashing two million people to food banks, quadrupling the carbon tax, uh, leading to a 300 percent car theft increase in just eight years in Toronto, and l giving Canada, giving Halifax 30 homeless encampments. This kind of chaos and misery is a record no one wants. The Honourable Member for Drummond. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I said it earlier, Madam Speaker. The Bloc Québécois agrees with a lot of this motion. I find it rather interesting because it seems to be a common preoccupation between the Conservatives and the Liberals. The Liberals are organising a summit on auto theft, which is a scourge, of course. We've seen it with the statistics that have been uh, published over the few, last few weeks. It's alarming and we must act. And then we have the Conservatives who are using it as an Opposition Day motion. It's nice to see that there is a bit of agreement on subjects we are debating today, but the Conservatives are putting forward solutions. And there is a summit on Thursday. So I have a question for the Leader of the Opposition. Does he intend to bring these of these ideas to the summit organized by the Liberals on Thursday so that everyone can hear them. Is he going to the summit? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Yes, I'm going. I wasn't invited, but I will be going. And I'll be sharing my good ideas there. After eight years, I hope that they'll finally listen to us. I was part of the government that managed to reduce auto theft by 50% whilst reducing the cost of bureaucracy in the CBSA. The Bloc voted for C5 to allow uh, house arrest. The Bloc voted for C75 uh, for the automatic release of uh, auto thief recidivists. And they support wasting money when it comes to uh, attacking our sports hunters which removes bite in our CBSA offices. The Bloc Québécois is completely illogical when it comes to fighting for Quebecers and Quebecers of this country. To you, um, the NDP, I think, are quite well known for trying to work with all parties to get things done. Um, and we did try to work with your Conservative Party to, uh, on this motion. Uh, why did the Conservatives vote against our amendments to, for example, add uh, that requiring auto manufacturers to improve security features in the cars they sell, and secondly, to put in place tough new measures to crack down on organized crime and money laundering linked to auto thefts? Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Mr. Speaker, that member voted against her constituents by supporting the Prime Minister's ban on law-abiding, licensed, trained and tested firearms owners. Uh, she voted with her party to, to attack First Nations hunters uh, and other uh, legitimate law-abiding firearms owners as, instead of going after the real criminals. So she 
like the Prime Minister, would take money away from border security and use it to harass licensed law-abiding firearms owners in her own riding. That is a shameful record of the NDP. Only the common sense conservatives will respect and honor our hunters, our anglers, and our sports shooters and go after real criminals. Well, please, you can